Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Eiken and today we're going to continue our onslaught in Gears Tactic. Insane difficulty, blind playthrough. It is time for Act 1, Chapter 2. Last time that we have left off, uh, Diaz and Sid, I think was his name, were trying to recruit more Gears. And that is exactly what we want to do, Gears in Echo 5 is our target, so let's sh uh, jump right into it. Gonna need to come and do this whole platoon for our little grub hunt. That won't go down easy. Don't you worry. Been working on my recruiting pitch. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Up ahead. Hey! Over here! Okay, cupcakes. Listen up. Everybody in one piece? We're looking for Echo 5. That's us, sir. Grubs just ambushed our unit half a click up the road. Came out of nowhere. All right, you're with us now. Let's go find your people. Sure as hell hope there's a squad left to recruit. <laughs> nice, we got a full squad this time. That's twice as many soldiers that we had, had the last time. No one's left. Cape and Sid must survive. Let's okay. check out the ambush site. See if there's any sign of those gears. So we got a heavy here. Rotary machine gun. A pistol and a frag grenade. And we got a scout here, which has a shotgun and a frag grenade. Cool. Well, so far so good. What are we dealing with? So that's the end of the map. What's this? Common case. Move a unit here to pick up an equipment case. That seems to be loot on the map. Can we go, uh, go into the buildings? No, okay, because they're burning. There's another one over here. So two loot cases, and that's where we need to go. And there's a rare case there, okay. And it says zero out of three. That's good. So. The game already tells you how many cases there are on the map. Here we can get up to three. Well, Awaiting order. I have no idea what those classes are doing. Understood. But I would say we're taking a solid... Yeah, yeah. ...spread out kind of position. And whatever is upcoming... We'll eat our bullets. Scout here. Yeah, the scout has a pretty short range. What's that ability? Unit gets the hidden status. Units with hidden status are invisible to enemies. Hidden is removed by skills. Cool. Ooh, nice. But it's only until the end of the turn, as it seems. Elsewise, why wouldn't you do that immediately? Hmm. Let's try that out. I want to see if it is until the end of the turn. Okay, so that unit appears completely translucent and immediately becomes visible at the end of its turn. Okay, that sort of makes sense. Orders. We'll go. Full cover over here. Scrubs are still here. Take them out. No way. And we got some enemies. Okay, we can't target them directly. Yeah, yeah. This here looks quite exposed. Here. Standing by. Understood. Okay, everybody is in full cover. I like that. Ooh, nice. The pistol has a lot of range. That is good. That's fantastic. I like the pistol. It's a good sidearm. 
It has clear advantages and disadvantages, such as lower damage, but it seems to have a longer nice range open. overall, well, which is great. I Okay, can't really do anything here. So let's use the pistol. On the lookout. Watch it, here they come. It dawns on me that that overshot, uh, overwatch mechanic might become really important later in the game. Uh -huh. What's that? Anchored. Plus 10% accuracy. Oh, I see. So the heavy kind of stands there with his heavy gun and continues to shoot and shoot? Is that how it works? Oh yeah, plus 10%. But the problem is... It, the obstructions and the range are killing it. What? Moving! Okay, move up. Time for a nice frag grenade, right? Yeah, let's hit all three of them. Oh, and they are losing their... Heavy on standby. Their... Um, their hunker down status. That's that is nice. Damn. Okay, that was not a good idea. Let's try that again with a pistol. Much higher accuracy. And we're just we're continuing to overwatch week. for now. Diaz, on the other hand. Advancing. And it's not even my birthday. Oh boy. It's taken the wrong cover. Alright. Okay, well. We could charge in. I don't think that that Down would be a good by. idea. Supplies for the effort. Instead, ah. how about we're just continuing with the pistols? They seem to work out reasonably well. Peeled. All right, we're overwatching. I think that's almost as much as we can do. 50-50 on a hit, or alternatively, a nice little overwatch, so that they can't get back into cover. Everyone, look sharp. Been doing this a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in cover, Diaz has taken 40% less damage, and also this is only a partial hit. We're up. Calm struck ahead. We want to find the rest of Echo 5. That's where we start looking. Good, so Tell that kill has that healed way. everybody. Hey. Now, naturally, that would be too aggressive, I suppose. I like it, though. Move into position. Let's test how strong the shotgun is. 90%, 350 damage, and there is a good crit chance. Oh, yeah, sign me up. Holy Stop. shit. Giving everybody some extra AP. Scout here. We're taking a pistol shot. Well 
Moving up. Good, I can see how it works. So, essentially, every single execution gives you extra action points. Good, even more action points. I'm almost impressed. On standby. Let's cancel his Overwatch. Good, that worked like a charm. We still have this bayonet shot. Ooh, okay. So three action units. How many is it going to Coming use? Through, Only one. <laughs> Oh wow, that is pretty good. Question is, have we moved too far? You got it. Boy, we're slaughtering our way through these fools. Out of ammo. Down to reload. Reporting in. Good. Moving up. We still got one shot in our sidearm. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I saw that. Uh, I saw that too late. There was kind of a distinct warning sign. So apparently, you can actually hit your comrades. Yeah. Nice. Good. Everybody reloaded I'm after that. Copy. Hold the line, people. That was a really good turn. Ready to engage. It felt like we were on a roll. That bayonet charge? Best Not too bad. Out. Maybe I haven't given it enough credit. I don't know. So wait a second. If we end. Drops are on the move. No, okay. Nothing is coming. Time to make a move. Bring it, shitheads. Okay, wait. Which means this here seems to be kind of a spot where we can heal up. Okay. Let me just end the turn and heal everybody up. Time and if anyone uh, comes in the meantime, I'll uh, resume recording. Small Ready fast forward engage. for you guys. Good, apparently we could simply heal up and just wait it out, which was great. That was exactly what I, uh, what we needed. I healed everybody and the hey. cooldowns are ready. Let's try to take that. Moving. And as long as we're not getting too close, apparently we can just continue. Now, whatever too close means, we're going to find that out in a second, I suppose. Now then. Standing by. Heads up! Locust activity! We're up! Okay, does that trigger? Apparently not. Hmm. Going now. Well, I'm wondering. Can we just loot that crate? Hold the line, people! Without anyone approaching? We're up! Dig it! We've got incoming! She continues Time to say to uh, state that we got incoming, but apparently uh -huh. we don't. Alright, got a rare case. Solid copy. On standby. Okay, no clue where the enemies are coming from, but I want to Throw test that. high ground next. Okay. So our damage dealer 
Should move over here. Is this triggering? No, it's not. All right, they're up. Okay, let's move on Time to the to high ground. Move. Grubs caught these gears by surprise. Ah, okay. I figured it, uh, that something would trigger. Okay, support unit. Moving up. It's also up there. I would guess they are coming from maybe the building over here. It looks like a place where we need to go next. And of course, the gears here are dead. Awaiting orders. Let's maybe just go back. I don't know where they are coming from. On the lookout. Right. Scanning now. Good, and we're going to use the pistol again because the shotgun seems to be not the best Overwatch weapon. Good. Here comes trouble. Grubs, twelve o'clock. I see you. Oh, that worked well. One more of those earth holes. I wonder, can we kill them before they are even up? Just reached a checkpoint. Sort of tells me that... That sort of tells me that we're near. Or that a big wave is uh, coming up. Maybe the checkpoint is just in the middle. Okay. Diaz uh, takes some more hits, that's good. seems to be quite good what's Great. the bonus 20% okay well that's just like an XCOM okay we got three shots easy some more shots right there And let's take some cover and make that an entire kill zone, shall we? Enemy movement. The melee ones, the wretches, seem to be incredibly dangerous once they reach you, but if you shoot them first, it seems like they are fine. Slowly but surely, we are realizing just how far they eventually can can get. Ammo's in. Hundred, hundred, ninety-nine. Okay, ninety-nine looks just like the type of shot we want to take here. All right, Diaz kills another one. Lovely. Shotgun, completely Reload. out of ammunition. Reload. One down. Your history. Nice. Oh, come on. That's a miss. Unfortunate. But we gotta close that hole. Shouldn't forget that that still exists. And we're eventually getting these guys down. Okay, reloading time. In case there is another wave. Open for business. Again, reloading. Let Diaz finish them. 
That way we are healing. Just in case one of them still moves. Raptor on the move! Raptor! Almost out! Alright, almost out of ammunition. Hostile down! Good, she gets a tiny bit of healing. Here! Stim for you! Ready. Moving! Moving back into cover. Hey. And I think we just got to see what we're dealing with. There's potentially a second wave coming in a second. Scanning well, let's now. do a bit of that and a bit of that. Heavy here. And a bit of that. Okay, so far so good. I sharp. Got another wave inbound. Are you kidding me? Ooh, Mili Hunter makes other wretches harder to hit. So that's the guy you want to kill first. He has an aura. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's a defense aura, or what am I looking at? Four more of these normal grunts. That's a lot. What? And five more wretches? That's nine wretches and four grunts. Let's kick some oh boy, I'm starting to regret my life choices. Taking the cover on the other side here. Yeah, yeah. Break grenade. How's that going to work? We want the guy with the defense to take the very most damage we could theoretically deal. Throwing a grenade. Nice one. That worked out well. I'm listening. Ten percent hit chance. Wow. Minus fifty on that aura alone. Are you kidding me? Heavy reporting in. Wow. Okay. So that aura. It's one of those uh, situations where you need to eventually use indirect means. Elsewise, it's going to suck hard. Move. Moving up with the scout. Oh, yeah, maybe too close even. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's important that the guy dies. All of the other bits of damage are secondary. Frag. Back in your hole. Ooh, that was important. Ready. So just out of curiosity, there's only a 20% chance to hit. Full cover over here. And I think that the scout is too exposed. Roger that. Putting her back. Now then. On the lookout. All right, let them come. Here they come. Walk right in. 
Nice, that almost killed him. The interrupts are incredibly important. Uh, they are losing their actions, and on top of it, Overwatch seems to hit almost always. Not your lucky day. Yeah, Overwatch might be the answer to some of the problems here. Alright, 80% chance to hit. That's a miss. Let's try that again. Another miss, okay, not so good. Let's try that again. Down to one shot. Low ammunition, not good. Hundred percent chance to hit. Dead and gone. Eighty percent chance, that's good enough. Beautiful. Seventy-five percent. Hmm. Yep. Let's see. Sixty-eight. 80%. I think that's the, the play here. And I'm not even warmed up. Good. Everybody else gets healed. That's good. 70% chance to kill this guy. Almost out. Hair trigger for an extra shot. That's good. He has overwatches. Fifty-five percent. I'm just going to take the shot here. Almost out. Okay, not bad. What are we going to do with our scout? I believe we could also overwatch with a pistol. Bring it on! I'm ready. Potentially not using her aggressively enough, but she only has four hundred hit points left, and I want Diaz. One shot left. I want to give Diaz the chance uh, to heal her. Also, we need a second person to cover that flank. Let's start down here. Fantastic. That was a good hit. Reloading. Could move up, but boy, that would be aggressive. Unnecessarily so. I think we're good. Just the way that we're currently positioned. Out of ammunition. Reloading. Reloads pistol is only 150, right? No, 217 points of damage. Okay, and 100% yeah, chance to hit. Scout on standby. Okay. 88% chance to hit. I like it. I'm empty. Only one shot left. Nah, we are good to go. Going to reload. And we're continuing our assault here. Waiting orders. Yeah, trigger back, has back. triggered. Ah, that's Three moves. I'm not comfortable with standing in the open. There might be someone else over there. In the meantime, let's reload. Exterminated. Okay, so far so good. Diaz takes some more hits. Running dry. Or not. 
I want to offer everybody kind of a healing that they deserve. There we go. That's all of them. Now, what happened here? First the bunker, now this. Ukon's wiping out the mop-up crews. Those gears are lucky. Tatcom should pick them up. Mm -hmm. And there they are. Let's go. Very good. So we got ourselves a case and three additional cases and quite a bit of normal stuff here. Accuracy bonus. Passive skill disrupt looks good. Ooh, wow. This game is fun, guys. I am starting to enjoy it a lot. So Diaz indeed got quite a few kills just like i was hoping he would and sid even got level three that is great unfortunately those those two haven't gotten enough kills yet oh and that is the dlc yeah i heard about jack uh jack is a drone and we're going to look into it in a second so first and foremost the loot Let's uh, open all of the cases. Rare armor plus 20 health and untraceable. Plus 50 damage, a couple of 5 evasion and 15 health uh, shoes. That looks good. I like it. And more upgrades. Cool. Lots and lots and lots to upgrade. So let's start with sit here because he's our tank default fra uh, frag grenade i think we're keeping those the damage seems to be fantastic and oftentimes uh, these are the uh, the right answers to just hordes of enemies 30 health is good but that is uh, currently with diaz i think he has 10 percent evasion Heavyweight gives him extra damage reduction, 15 health, and 5% damage reduction. Hmm. I think that is potentially equally good to 30 health, if you think it through. Just from the damage that I've seen so far. And this here is double down. After this unit takes a shot, it gets a plus three damage uh, turn for this turn. So that passive skill is great for the um, heavy. Going to use that in a second. The one topic that I would like to do is he seems like a tank, um, almost like the heavy class. So we're going to. Ooh. Oh, that actually looks quite good. We're going to let him look metallic and yellow. Fantastic. I know some of you don't like color coding, but I personally think it's a great option. Perfect, love it. So 
The one thing that I don't like is we need yellow color with yellow in it. Wow, you can definitely customize a lot here. That's exactly what I was looking for. Good. Now, he looks yellow. Let's work with the weapon. No upgrades. And we don't have a helmet yet. Okay, fair enough. Sid looks good. The one thing that we haven't done with Sid is his skill tree. Uh, we remember we wanted to go to badass, so he now has distraction as an extra skill. That looks great. Target unit will try to attack, but um, target enemy will try to attack you. And you eventually like trigger them to attack you. And distraction um, uh, on level 2 will eventually force it to do so, but reduces the damage by 50%. So that's good for bigger units. I like self-revival, but I still am not sure if that's going to work for him. Survival Instinct definitely does, and Badass does as well. We don't need distraction level 3, although it's cool to have a cooldown from 5 to 3. I don't think that it will make much difference in many of the fights. I haven't seen like extended firefights yet. So bad as it is, that's going to be our next um, big goal. Moving on to Diaz, who's uh, going to be um, our support. Support characters. And by the way, he has the 30, um, the 30, he uh, 30 health. I don't think that the shots will be good for him. The damage reduction may or may not come in handy. I don't know. I don't know. 5% damage reduction is fine, but I, I think we'll actually take the extra health. For now, what I want to do is we're actually going to make him green-ish. I like that metallic look. This is, looks awesome. Just got to find the uh, right um, color, but still looks green enough. This here is good. I like it. Good. Same with the vest. He has 30. There is. So this unit gets 40% damage reduction against enemy overwatch shots. Well, that's actually quite good because I feel he gets... Uh, hit qu quite regularly so we're giving him this new um, untraceable passive uses 10 health but the 40% damage reduction against overwatch shots that's really helpful now the one thing that sucks a bit is where's the rest That, why can't I color code the rest? Like, is that because of the armor? Yeah, it is because of the armor. Okay, well, the next armor eventually will have a little bit more green in it. He still looks green-ish, so I suppose that's fine. We got a hair trigger that worked really well, or 15 more damage. I think we're going for more damage for now. That is a small, a slight increase. I like the um, the hair trigger, but the problem is our lack of um, our lack of ammunition. Okay, so far so good. Secondary, yeah, he just has that normal gun. Fair enough. 
Very good. So now to his skill tree. Um, in between missions, I've already looked at uh, his skill tree and we don't need another medic. So basically the four uh, skill trees uh, that he does have is one paragon. I would describe that as a teamwork kind of supportive skill tree where he's enabling others. Then number two would be everything around the chainsaw. So you can see very similar to what Sid had additional um, damage with or damage boost with uh, the shots high powered shot is what it's called and then just cooldown reduction for that so essentially almost kind of a damage dealing um, uh, damage dealing version of a specialist the i'm i'm not 100 percent sure if that is really worth it same argument as with others his weapon per se doesn't deal enough damage to really make that um, make that a viable option and yeah so I'll, I'll come to the judgment later anyways this here is uh, the damage tree then we do have combat medic quite interesting skills here the grenade could be reduced with cooldown um, he would get a single heal then a group heal <clears throat> eventually better group heal uh, then Whenever someone is killed, you get uh, another healing skill. You get critical healing. Um, there is the uh, chance for everybody to get plus 100% heal. And eventually, chainsaw recovery. When this unit uses chainsaw attack, uh, each ally heals for 15% of their maximum health. So that's very similar to Sid's tree, the paladin uh, tree. And I could see that that may or may not work out. I'm not sure if we should go with two dedicated healers. So far, it seemed to me like you're actually requiring a lot of damage. So we need to find ways of, of enabling that. And the last one here, the surgeon, oh, that's an interesting one as well. It eventually allows a target uh, with uh, less than 50% of health to get healed even more from your skills. Um, heals the target for 100 at the end of your turn for three turns, so that's a heal over time. Stimulant, which uh, is the normal single target heal in a better version, so that's almost kind of the um, single target heal ver uh, uh, variant, and um, revives them from a down state. So this here would be a revival as soon as someone is downed. I'm not sure how realistic it is to down someone or if they immediately die. Heal a target for 150 health at the end of your turn for three turns. So that's the improved version of the stim patch. So this really, all of those, this here seems to be a group healing. Um, and this here is kind of single heal um, uh, tree. Painkiller, target of your healing skill gets 30% damage reduction for one turn. I'm not saying that any of that is bad. Quite the opposite, it seems reasonable. But what I personally fell in love with was the idea of manipulating action economy. And I want to in, uh, introduce the Paragon skill tree up here. Uh, target gains one action. So that's the skirmisher ability right there. Um, once every three turns, you can shift it. Now, the cool part is the upgraded version gives you 20% damage uh, on top of it, uh, which means you give them an action and then all of their skills get 20% damage on top of it. And the third version is... Uh, borderline uh, borderline illegal because you get th two action points for one so you're actually creating action points out of thin air i like that a lot so that here for me is sort of a no-brainer then you do have lock and load which seems like a good option as well because oftentimes like you've seen in the last mission i feel that the magazine capacity is a bit on the lower end and this is a once in a mission sort of uh, thing with eight uh, rounds of cooldown, but 50% damage bonus and everybody gets uh, full reloading. That essentially screams action e economy efficiency as well. And here, oh yeah, that, then that was interesting as well. When a targeted ally downs or kills an enemy, you can get an action point. Uh, so say you were to buff um, the heavy, they are killing someone, and you regain your point not only have you created points um, action points out of thin air you also get them back on top and with teamwork level um, two up here you can get up to three action points that way which is great um 
Yeah. When this unit kills an enemy with a chainsaw, command is triggered one additional time, so command is the ba base ability. Essentially, it yields twice. It seems that this tree here, maybe with the exception of chainsaw command, seems like such an obvious choice uh, to me. And then the other question is simply, what are we going to do with all of the skill, um, with all of the ability points that he has? And I am foreseeing maybe a hybrid out of like that paragon here with action economy. And then we either need to kill really well, or we are uh, just healing everybody. Uh, this here are long cooldown heals. So th the only problem that I'm seeing is you do have too little time to get uh, to to refresh all of them which kind of brings us down here to search and and a perfect world like search is potentially good with if you're going all the way over here and then you uh, you search you can also use search plus empower so you give someone an ability then uh, your action uh, your you're using search and then you give them an ability again plus lock, lock and load uh, you know what maybe the way to go is actually to skill this and then to have this is here if you ever played dota this is the refresher or one on one so what else do we have here When this unit uh, command is triggered, so when we kill someone, each ally guy gets 5% crit chance. That's nice, a passive buff. When this unit kills an enemy with its chainsaw, it gets one action. So that's almost like free chainsaw. Chainsaw mastery attack. This unit's chainsaw ability cooldown is now reduced by one turn. Look, I mean, you can theoretically like go and get all of uh, the chainsaw um, abilities. This here seems to be the one and done uh, skill where you're just killing someone with a chainsaw and you essentially get an action point back. That's not bad. The This here reduces the chainsaw ability generally so that you can use it more often. And this and this together seems to almost uh, let you uh, let you use your chainsaw really really often and over here you are then triggering the healing so i can see that the whole chainsaw things could work out well weak point on the other hand triggers even without chainsaw so whenever we're killing someone, there's a 5% extra critical uh, chance. So I think what we will do is get that empower, get the weak point, then move up to team uh, teamwork, get all the way to empower over here, get lock and load. Depending on how good teamwork is, maybe get teamwork level two. Well, it seems to be, it seems to be good. And then it's really a question whether or not we're seeing that healing is on the short uh, side. If that's the case, then we might want to use Combat Medic here. Those individual heals, not sure if they really work out well. I, I can see they have a lower uh, time. Well, I mean, on the other hand, those healing over time seem to be good. Yeah, it's a matter of I I don't know how much damage you are taking as a group. Clearly, group heal is good, um, but we already have a group healer, so I would say we're going fu fully into that Paragon enable mode and then eventually use Surge. So empowerment it is, yes. Now the question is, do we want those um, those chainsaw attacks in the future? Yes or no? Because if we go that route like the weak point uh, route these two here are out the chainsaw is cool but i don't foresee him to be at the front uh, line so i think we're just going to go with weak point and we're eventually will take teamwork and empower level two for now we do have empower level one let's see 
if my choice had been a good one or if that actually was a really, really poor choice. Going to see that hopefully soon. Well, that's an interesting one. Um, let me just take a look at the skills here. Okay, so in a nutshell, it appears that this uh, drone here is a pure supportive, um, uh, pure supportive uh, helper. The defensive tree helps you with healing. I'm not sure how much we need uh, that. Again, I don't want to skill too deep into healing. Apparently, this game offers a lot of ways of healing yourself. Then here are extra actions that definitely, again, uh, caught my attention. Here in control, uh, you do have uh, the option uh, to prevent enemies from moving. That, again, I like a lot. I'm a big fan of crowd control. And frontline uh, seems to be the option to, to just deal damage. Creates a powerful uh, torque bow weapon. Yeah. So that seems to be damage. I don't think that we're going to go deeply into um, into that. I believe we're going to go into utility and maybe then a bit of control as well. But we're starting with utility. For now, we can't do anything anyways because we haven't really leveled uh, him up. As a pure support, I would technically uh, make him green. But for the sake of it, let's make it a black drone and see how well Jake is doing. Now our scout can take um, focus here. At the start of the turn this unit gets a 10% critical chance. That's good. Wait a second, we still had something else. Accuracy bonus never wrong. In terms of scout, uh, the typical uh, color that I had for scouts in Long War was always orange. Let's keep it that way. Okay, you can't change the color. I like the damage reduction here. That seems adequate. Orange it is. You gotta admit that whole customization, oh, it's fantastic. Really well done. Okay, so I don't know much about scouts yet, but I don't want to uh, spend too much time going through their potential skill tree. We're going to find that out over time. Disrupt passive skill. Shots from this unit will knock back the target. That is really good. And since he's the heavy, typically they would be the yellow ones, but what would what would the tank then be? The tank would be the equivalent of a ranger. Let me adjust the color coding real quick. Okay, I finally figured the color coding out. So we got Diaz here as a support green color. We got uh, Sid Redburn as the Vanguard, so well, that's uh, the equivalent of a frontliner, so I gave them the red color. We got the Scout in the orange uh, color, and we got Tyrone here as the heavy in yellow color. That's the color coding so far, Jack. Might be blue, black. Uh, well, we we got to figure that out over time. Okay, Jack's going to be blue, the support drone. Very good. So uh, that's pretty much uh, the overview for now. I think we've done everything that we could. Uh, the troops are well equipped. I thank you for your attention and for joining me on today's mission. If you enjoyed uh, the run so far, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about Gears Tactic. I want to hear what your favorite class is. No spoilers, please, since I'm still trying to record that. Thank you and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.